Well, people in one part of Baltimore are speaking out about bike lanes. They say they are putting people's lives in danger. They say bad engineering is leading to crashes and damaged cars. Jonathan McCall has more on what people are trying to do to curb the problem. A narrow navigation on Roland Avenue. What we found was it just didn't work. Squished streets driving people crazy. At core, the problem was the road isn't wide enough to accommodate a cycle lane, a buffer, a parking lane, and then two travel lanes. Folks here are peddling frustration, anger, and concerns over their own safety because of lanes made for two wheels. We've had doors taken off, we've had mirrors taken off, um, we've had people hit, we've had bikes hit. Since the bike lanes were installed back in 2015, Hap Cooper with the Roland Park Civic League says that bad engineering from the bike lanes have impacted businesses, schools, libraries, and even walkers. Every day or two, we hear about a car like this one here. This car was totaled day before last. In May, the group asked the city to immediately restore curbside parking and to work toward building a wider, safer bike lane. In a statement to WJZ, the city says it worked with the civic group as well as the bicycle community on the project. It says it'll continue working with those groups as they try to figure out a long term remedy. I think our sense of urgency in theirs is a little different. The controversy is just the latest in a string of problems facing bike lanes across the city. Last year, WJZ told you about the biking problems over lanes in Canton that some say confused drivers and left little room for emergency vehicles. The city ultimately decided on a redesign. The bike lanes are a travesty for this entire neighborhood. Meanwhile, back on Roland Avenue, some say they'll be avoiding the street. I haven't parked on this road for over a year. Until the problem is curbed and lives aren't at risk. The group says they were told they could potentially see action sometime in the spring or in the summer, but exactly what will happen is unknown. Jonathan McCall reporting for WJZ. Now, Cooper says both the Civic League and the city commissioned surveys to study the problem.